Now, let's take you through the nuts and bolts of, of our offense. Let's get in that double stack low again. After the entry, all right, after, after Chris playing the one, enters the ball, everybody hold. Here we go. Good. Clint went over the top. Marcus went low. Here's what we've got now. We've got a three out, two in look. Once the one enters the ball, he's getting to the opposite corner as quickly as he can. This is why we don't want that ball entered here. All right? It's a long run. It's a long run. We want, to, we want this guy to engage his defender. We want these cutters to sprint their cut to create separation. And we want to enter that thing as quickly as we can to give our point guard time to get to the corner. And he can't lollygag around. He's got to sprint to the corner. He's got to get there quickly. If he jogs and this ball screen comes, Q's going to come and ball screen. If it's a rejection, if it's a rejection, all right, if Marcus doesn't take the screen and rejects to the baseline, he's got to have some place to go with it. If this point guard's slow, there's going to be nobody to pitch the ball to in that corner. That's the natural pitch, okay? So Chris come back, enter the ball again. Sprint to the corner. Good. Good. Now, let's go back to this ball screen here. All right, Clinton's got the ball. Q's, in, Q's low. Sean's low. All right. Entry just happened. Point guard got through. We're going to L up to the ball screen. All right. Now, come back here again, Q. Your four and five have got to be fast getting there, all right? We don't want to give defense any chance, any chance to decide how they're going to play. In practice all week, they're talking about how we're going to play this ball screen on this guy, how we're going to play that ball screen, and we don't want to give that big guy a chance to think, all right, how am I supposed to play this, this ball screen with this player? We want to get there quick. So we're going to sprint into it. He's going to jump stop and get low and wide. Clint is going to read this, all right? His defender is either going to do a few things. He's going, to, he's going to make Clint use the screen. He's going to make Clint reject the screen, or he's going to play him straight up. If he plays him straight up, Clint is attacking this elbow. He's attacking this elbow. As that's happening, Sean is reading his defender. If his defender goes and helps and he's in here, Sean is going to find a window, and we're going to look to dump to him. All right? If his defender stays tight, Sean's going to duck me in and post. Right in here. Come back here, Sean. Right in here. We're going to look to post. Okay? So when we come off of here, we're looking to throw that ball into the guy in the post. Okay? Our screener is going to be reading. All right? And it depends on what kind of player he is. If this guy is strictly a back-to-the-basket player with no perimeter ability at all, we're rolling that sucker every time. Okay, if he's a skill four, all right, we're going to drift him every time. Q happens to be a skill four. So when he screens, he's drifting the short corner, opening up the duck in and giving Clint another scoring option on the, on the baseline. Okay, get to that point, Clint, and let's enter it into the post. Good, good. 